Okay, and now the recording is started as well. <clears throat> so today we have the uh, 31st of um, uh, January 2020, and uh, now we can start with uh, JFD in West. Um, I have uh, not the, the, the original slides here because uh, switching the computer. So um, it was a little bit puzzling here for me, and hopefully I can now go uh, straightforward uh, without any uh, problems uh, anymore. But uh, let's see. So if you um, hear me, please give me a note uh, in the chat uh, that I just know that everything is up and running. A warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. And of course, from my end, Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of uh, uh, webinars. So hopefully, Everything runs now, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, still, I don't have a confirmation that everybody can uh, hear me, but let's simply go straight into JFD Invest. JFD Invest is a quite tra a cool trading platform uh, where you can follow given strategies. So you act finally as a portfolio manager by your own, and then you follow um, strategies from other people, from professional traders. And those trades, if you like, could be simply copied into your account, into your special JFD Invest account. So your job is being a portfolio manager and then looking for the right strategies and um, that you find your way uh, to get some good trades into your account as well. So um, before I really start, you know the procedure uh, that I have always to show up the risk uh, disclaimer. Um, the first, because we talk about trading and we talk about uh, investment, but finally, all the steps you do, you do by your own and on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining. But now let's really jump straight forward and direct into uh, JFD Invest. And uh, here we are already at the homepage of uh, JFD. And there you can find under Invest, you can find uh, JFD Invest. And then let me first scroll down a little bit because then you can really see what we are talking about. So um, we are talking about trading strategies with uh, double digit growth. And uh, that means um, you can have those into your copied into your account as well. We have here top the top five performing strategies. There are some more, uh, and we will see those. And now the point is that you understand uh, all the details about any given strategy, uh, because then you are possible to uh, to understand and to match those strategies with your trading preferences, because that is at least from my end, from my opinion, what's really needed is that you fully understand um, and that you find the best fit to your uh, trading style, your investment style. We have to talk about those key figures that you can really find that best match. But how can you start? Mm, it's quite easy. The first thing you would have to do is to sign up a JFD Invest profile. Uh, that is simply the green button sign up. And that means that you register with a, with your email address and a given password. And then you can even get some more details about any trading uh, strategies. And then the next point, if you like, you might open a special account, a so-called JFD Invest account. And even if you are luckily already a client of JFD, you cannot use your already existing trading account because you need a special one. There are two reasons. One is <clears throat> that you will get the same conditions, meaning professional trading conditions, uh, so the right leverage, uh, for example. You may think the downside of that account is you cannot really trade by your own in terms of open a trade and close a trade. That is only for following those strategies that JFD Invest account, and then you can um, follow given trading strategies. Finally, you connect the two, your profile with your account, and then you can start following. And now, 
I think it's a good time to really go into as a guest. And since I don't have um, now the right computer, um, I'm not sure whether I can mention the, the, the top performer of last week, uh, but I think it has been in Jalius, but I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it should be. Okay, um, and now, uh, we are in, in JFD in West, and you can find all the details about in total 13 uh, trading strategies, and there's a second page. Um, but now, let's get familiar with the numbers we present, because you need to understand those numbers, uh, and I repeat myself, in order to get the best fit between your preferences and a given strategy, because they act completely different and they have different characteristics and to understand those uh, we we give you all the details about trading strategies the overview already has the inception date uh, for example which is nice uh, a strategy which might be older uh, has more history so um, that is not bad then we have the return, that's the overall return since inception, last month, year to date. And then there's a key figure I personally think is quite important to know about that, which is equity balance deviation. You see that the top performer in this case, Hyperion, has the highest number or mathematically correct would be the lowest, so it's a minus. But anyhow, it's uh, about minus 60%. But what does it mean? It means equity balance deviation is a difference between closed, your account with closed trades and open trades. Um, equity includes always the open trades as well. So you have um, trades open and those might be in plus or in minus. <clears throat> and if they are minus, we speak about so-called floating losses because it's just open trades that trades might finally come to a positive end, but they are open and in this case minus, for example. And equity balance deviation means there has been a point in time for Hyperion with a minus 60% uh, floating losses. Okay, and that uh, is something um, we have to keep in mind. So, because it's a temporal drawdown and uh, therefore it's good that if you follow Hyperion, you know that this might happen. But let's really jump directly into the strategy because then we can see more details and I can better explain uh, what was this um, equity balance deviation. Overall, we see a quite good growth for uh, that strategy. Uh, overall return still 40%, but of course, everybody realizes now that there's uh, since September last year, there's a quite huge drawdown. Um, Mm, but you never know what happens next with the strategy. So um, it's the best performer at all we have here at JFD Invest. But now let's go back to equity balance deviation um, because uh, that is now shown versus time. So it's not only the highest we see, we can realize that this given strategy has more or less always a lot of open trades and those might be in the minus and that is uh, illustrated with that graph and it's good that we understand that and then we know what we would follow if we go for Hyperion. Um, what you else can find out here is a monthly return table a totally green one would of course be ideal and we have two strategies with almost um, total green monthly return tables and those Two strategies are butterfly and forex gun um, so you will find um, strategies which are less volatile than uh, a hyperion but for explanation it's quite good to use hyperion here as well so if i scroll down you see all the statistics of that um, trading strategies average trade duration for example so how long is a trade open uh, so in average six days in this case uh, total number of trades you can realize okay it's not just only six lucky winners uh, so there's really statistics behind and finally what you can finance is you can find the traded instruments. And in this case, you would realize that um, 
strategy Hyperion is trading mainly DAX and Dow Jones, a few other trades, which you will find as well. So it's an index uh, trading strategy uh, mainly. And if you like that, Hyperion would be a choice maybe. And um, but you will find for any strategy the traded instruments. So you may have uh, even there are some preferences, uh, of course. And finally, to introduce everything here, it's quite easy. Um, there, if you go for the details, you will find a few other quite important uh, numbers. Uh, one, it's, let's start with minimum investment. So you can realize that is the minimum amount of money you need in order to follow that strategy. In this case, 6K. Of course, you can invest more, but not less. And you can see how many investors uh, are already following actively the strategy and the total uh, assets under management. So that is something you can find uh, here uh, quite well. Let me show you one additional graph, um, which is equity, because that is sometimes uh, a little bit misleading, because as you can see, we have two green lines, and those two green lines, once again, are equity and balance. And of course, we can see the deviation as well. But my point here is you see sometimes steps like this one here. Oops. And don't worry about that kind of step, because that is simply, in this case, a withdrawal um, of the trader. It has nothing to do with you, so it's not a withdrawal on your account. That's always uh, only up to you. Um, but if you see steps here, but you can't find the same steps uh, in the overall growth, which is always percentage-wise, then, um, of course, it's a withdrawal, or steps up would be a deposit. So it's good that we know uh, this as well. Now let's go back to some other strategies. Um, I mentioned the last week uh, top performer was Angelius, and therefore let's have a view on Angelius as well. And we can see, okay, overall growth, uh, not that bad, uh, but since um, three months now, we have um, some drawdowns. But let's look for the characteristics. It's totally different than compared to uh, Hyperion. Um, you can see already that the equity balance deviation is not already ex uh, even exceeding uh, the 10%, not that many open trades and floating losses. And if you look this now, this picture versus time, then you can see totally different characteristic. And that's the reason why we present all the data uh, in order to give you all the information you need for your decisions. And Decisions means finally, of course, you follow or you follow, do not follow a given strategy, uh, but in order to find that match between your preferences and what we can offer here at JFD Invest. And for example, here, the minimum invest would be um, 1,000 euro, and you can see that already 32 investors are following. Um, and Jalius with a total assets under management of uh, 76 um, K. Let's look for the monthly return table. Um, okay, of course, we know that the last two months have been negative, but the previous five uh, just uh, positive, uh, close to 600 trades, um, less average trade duration, just one day, one and a half day, and trader instruments to have a view on that. We can see it's not totally equally distributed, but um, a lot of trades on different kind of symbols, uh, some majors, some minors. So uh, that would be in Jalius. But I mentioned that there's a strategy with an almost green monthly return table. And let's have a view on that as well. And therefore, I go for Butterfly. Um, and you can see that's the overall growth. Um, it's quite steady. Equity balance deviation, same uh, amount like Angelius, uh, close to 10%. And if you look this versus time, that if you do some average over uh, since inception, uh, it would be maybe 1%, um, maybe 2%. Of course, last May, there was uh, close to minus 10, but uh, quite uh, steady growth. So no big drawdowns and uh, things like that. And here, you, I mentioned it. If you look for the equity, you can see the 
this stepwise behavior. But once again, we can't see the same in the growth. So um, therefore, it has been deposits and withdrawals. And as you see, the monthly return table is almost totally green, which is really brilliant. Um, and uh, even last month, uh, January, it's close to 1% um, overall growth. So number of trades, quite high, 2,000. 800 about and uh, so statistics behind and let's have a view on traded instruments as well and now that we see it's more concentrated on uh, the real majors um, sometimes it's difficult to uh, to really define what is a major but I think those instruments are some real majors and uh, the good thing on a trading a strategy like that is um, we don't have uh, that much spread on those uh, major instruments so that is good for the strategy but there might be other strategy or not might there are other strategies which like um, instruments like australian dollar canadian dollar since that forex pair is doing not that huge moves and if you have a strategy which is quite suitable for that for example volcano then um yeah, that would be uh, your choice. So that was um, Butterfly. So um, yeah, and I mentioned uh, Volcano. So let's have a view on Volcano as well, because that strategy is um, has a long history, uh, quite steady growth. Okay, there have been some problems in May 2019, uh, but overall everything we covered. So that's cool. Uh, that we have that kind of characteristic here. Traded instruments, as I mentioned, and uh, as you can realize by your own as well, um, it's just uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Let me explain you something else here because um, uh, just that you know how you finally would go um, if um, if you want to follow. Now I'm logged in into um, my profile and uh, that profile is connected with an account. And therefore you see new buttons on the right hand side. And uh, what you can see is now we have buttons like follow. So, and that is how you would finally do your steps um, if you like a given strategy. For example, uh, if we want to follow um, butterfly, we would press uh, simply the button follow. And now we get the question of how much money we want to allocate um, um, for that strategy, starting with 3K, because that was the minimum amount. And um, of course, we can go for higher numbers if you like. Uh, so that's the one thing how much money you want to invest into that strategy. And the other, uh, what you can do is you can apply a so-called risk management. Let me press a button and accept the terms so that I can better explain what is meant with risk management. Risk management here is something like a, a similar to a stop loss for trades, but now on a strategy level. So it means uh, that you can um, set a stop loss for a strategy. Let, let's do a quick example. Let's assume we have the risk um, button at 50% and what it finally means. So if we would invest 3,000 euro into Butterfly and we would have a risk uh, management at 50%, it would mean if the strategy the followed uh, into my account, if that would lose 1,500 euros even floating, then every trade would be closed and new trade would be opened. So that is quite good um, that we have stop loss levels on strategy level. Um, but on the other hand, you might remember Hyperion, if we would use stop loss like uh, 10%, since we have always lots of open trades, which might be in the minus, uh, you would be more or less automatically being stopped out. Finally, I think I mentioned, uh, to, I, I forgot to mention one 
number and I don't want to hide that, that following any strategy, there's always a performance fee involved and that performance fee is based on high watermark. So what does it mean? First thing, performance fee, not management fee, no base costs, just only if there are um, profits, you would have to pay, and in this case, 25% on the profits. No management fee, no base costs. High watermark means that only if your followed strategy reaches new highs, then, and finally on a month end base, uh, then you'd be charged with um, those fees, or in other case, you stop following a strategy, and if then you, or you have a new high with your followed account, uh, the followed strategy, then you would have to pay that kind of fee. But it's on performance, so uh, you don't have to pay for a non-performing strategy. Uh, so that's quite good. Finally, if you accept terms and conditions, you could follow, and that's how you work with um, your JFD Invest account. So you you um, create your portfolio, at least that's what I personally would always do, uh, not following just one, following more than one in order to get diversification. And uh, then what you can, um, what's quite important, those kind of actions like follow or, for example, the action unfollow, which would mean stopping following um, the strategy and JVS in this case, this you can do wherever you are. The only thing you need is access to the internet and then you can go for that web page <clears throat> and you can connect, disconnect, follow, unfollow um, any trading strategy. And even if you are on vacation, yeah, the only thing you need is access to the internet. And then you can do your job as portfolio manager wherever you are um, in the world which is really good because you don't need an extra computer uh, with expert advisors or anything like that. No, everything is done directly at uh, JFD and um, that's really good that you don't need a 24 hour, seven days a week computer in order to do all those trades. So summary, you find a lot of um, given strategies and you can do your job as a portfolio manager. What I would recommend is clicking through all the strategies and looking, hey, what kind of drawdown do I accept with from my investment? And then playing around with those numbers in order to find a good match between your preferences and those strategies, and then um, build your own portfolio, which would be diversified if you follow more than one strategy. And that is finally, a real good thing. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate in order to send me an email um, to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com or you might write um, support at jfdbank.com as well. And uh, of course, we make sure that uh, you get the right answers to your questions. Yeah, that's for now. I hope you enjoyed the webinar and um, we are already close to the weekend so have a good weekend first month is over today let's see what happens next month uh, have a good time bye bye